you have to swap this one to this one or find a heim joint that fits this one it's easy just to swap It's swapped, so now you can put the factory nut back on that came with it, and this Heim joint, which doesn't look that bad. Looks like it's got brass in it. What's really surprising is that's actually got like a brass uh, spacer in it or something. Which is nice. You actually pull off this. I think this is some sort of parking brake lever thing. I just pull it off. But as soon as you thread this in. And the other nice thing about this kit. Is it gives you two Jesus clips. Because you know you're going to lose one. So even the spacers here are tack welded in. Which is super nice. So all you do is you flip that like that put that like that I can't do it holding the camera maybe I can and then you take so I'll tell you what you need is a six millimeter wrench for these a pair of vice grips for this top one uh, you have to pull this out even with the Willwood one to get in there and this is just one of those random Chinese like light bar Allen heads, I don't know what size it is, but that fits the handle to take out the parking brake. So, and you need a small pair of uh, snapper and pliers. And set it on internal. So. And I just used. Needle noses. To get that on. So. I think this is how I'm going to set them up. A Rad Design shifter in the middle. You can grab this one. Or this one. And I'm going to set it up how the Atlas is. So. Basically, if I remember right, this is front. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm 90% sure this is front. This will be front pull back. This is the rear, so that would be rear pull back. So, there they are. This video isn't that well edited, so I'm trying to get back with into the swing of YouTube. So leave a comment below and like and tag and share the video if you need some cheap cut breaks.